name is Gordon Simpson. Um, I've always been interested in wildlife and in 1964 in National Nature Week I started to study toadstools because a retired farmer that lived near me was an expert and um, he used to take me out in the forests and look for toadstools and he told me at the end of the year if I could remember 15 toadstools I was doing well. What I should have said was stop at 15 otherwise you try to learn too many and forget the lot. I've been working now uh, with toadstool for nearly 46 years. I don't think I have, but I have been scared two or three times because I've got this daft habit of eating a toadstool, thinking I know what it is, and then read the books and find out it wasn't quite what I thought it was. Now, now this thing, I'm sorry, I don't know, they're, they're starting now to give English names to toadstools, and I'm having a job learning the English names. I know most of the Latin, but the Latin for this is a Mycena. M-Y-C-E-N-A, and they're going to call them bonnets. Now, you can only identify these in the field if they exude a coloured juice. And that's a watery juice, isn't it? You can't see any juice much at all in it. So I'm sorry, that's an LSJ. Left shoulder jump. <laughs> but it, it was a Mycena, you know. I can't verify it in the field. Very interesting, and especially what you call the microfungi, the little things like moulds on plants or on cheese, and uh, lot, there are far, far more small fungi than there are the big ones like toadstools. Well, I think this is all to do with evolution. Um, it's how, how do they disperse their spores, you see, so they've designed so that when they're in a certain habitat they can get, the wind can get at them and blow their spores away. This, this one here, look, it's a bit delicate, but it's, it's the same colour on the gills, look, as the cap, isn't it? And uh, this would be growing on a piece of wood, mm. so this is Gymnopolis penetrans. I don't know the English yet without going to my book. Well, it depends on the species really. Some will only take a day to develop, shed the spores and rot. But others can last a week or two. And again it depends on the temperature. If you have a cool season they don't develop as fast as what they would do in a very hot spell. Well, can I just say that all toadstools are edible, but some only once. <laughs>